India, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be episode seven, I believe, of the Becoming a Boss series. Um, we're going to be talking about mistakes, okay? Um, it has not even been a month. I'm pre-filming this video, so it hasn't been a month since my business has launched. Um, but I have learned some things already, and so I just want to go ahead and share that with you guys so you can hopefully avoid making these same mistakes and wasting your money like I did. So uh, let's go ahead and get started with reason number, or not reason, but uh, mistake number one. Okay, so mistake number one is going to be Jungle Scout. I don't know if any of you know what Jungle Scout is, but it's basically a website where you pay a monthly fee. I believe it's like $40, maybe $50, um, where you can see kind of like what vendors, big companies, let's just talk about Fashion Nova, for instance. So like what vendors Fashion Nova uses and kind of try to poach their vendors from them and get some of the same items. Um, but it's like really difficult to navigate. And I watched, um, I, I think I found, I only watched, I think, one tutorial on it. And it was, it was kind of weird. Like it was kind of um, difficult to navigate. It wasn't really helpful in the end. And then I did find, I think, like one or two. And then after I found them and kind of like Googled them, I realized that the minimum order quantity was like 100. And so that is going to be the biggest thing. So if you hear anyone talk about kind of like poaching vendors from like some of the bigger um, companies like Fashion Nova, Pretty Little Thing, um, you know, etc. Basically, don't waste your time with that. Because even if you are able to find the vendor, chances are you are not going to be buying enough inventory to be able to purchase from that vendor. So like I said, all vendor, well, I won't say all, but the majority of vendors do have a minimum order quantity. And so if the minimum order quantity is 100 and you are just starting out, you're not going to be buying 100 pieces of that one item. So don't waste your time, sis. Move along. Okay, so that was mistake number one, which is Jungle Scout. Okay, number two is going to be um, Photoshop. So I think I only wasted maybe like $10, $15 on Photoshop. Um, I bought it when I was trying to develop my launch day flyer. And so what I should have done is actually just paid someone um, ahead of time to make a launch day flyer for me. I ended up making it myself. I made it in Canva and it came out pretty cute, but it's very, very basic. Um, and you know, anyone could make it basically. So it's real basic, real regular. And um, it's not exactly, it's not really what I wanted. Like it's the color scheme that I wanted. Cause I made sure of course that it was going to go with my color scheme, but it's not what I wanted. And so I wish I just would have paid someone to make that for me um, earlier, but I just felt like time was like getting away from me. Um, and I just couldn't, I didn't have time uh, in the end to get someone to make it for me. So I ended up paying for Photoshop. Photoshop, bruh, like if you are a graphic designer, like shout out to you, like because Photoshop is like, what? I, I watched several, more than one, several tutorials on how to use Photoshop. And it's just like, it's so crazy with like, all the layering and how they make the flyers and everything and it's just like it's mind-blowing like I'm just I'm not a graphic designer so like I I couldn't get into it I was like you know what cancel subscription okay so the next thing is going to be ads so I have run oh my gosh like so many ads maybe like six six ads maybe and this includes um i've run let's see i run maybe like five ads like ig facebook ads and then i've run like two or three with um an influencer so and in the end i will say that the best way to gain followers or the way I have gained the most followers is by following people. If you go to my page, you will see I'm following probably like 4,500 people. Um, 
and I have about 1500 subscribers, subscribers, 1500 followers. Um, and I focus on Instagram. So I run my ads through Facebook to make sure that my ads show up on Facebook and Facebook Messenger, Facebook ads, and they show up on Instagram. But when I follow people, I'm focused on following people on Instagram only. So um, that's what I do. So obviously, you can see that's not not even half of the people that I followed follow me back. But if I had never followed those people, I would not have 1500 followers right now. I simply would not like I would have maybe 500, maybe 500 if that. So um, some people may be like, well, you know, followers are not important. What's important is sales. And they're both important because you can't get any sales if you don't have any followers to see what you're selling, if that makes sense. So it's like you want to have as many followers as possible because your items that's what's going to show up on their timeline so if you don't follow them and they never see your stuff then there's no chance for them to buy it in the first place because they didn't even know you were selling it so that's why i follow people pretty much every day um and i'm trying to i kind of put a hold on my ads i want to wait until i get some more inventory in some more stuff that is um a little more like this so this is from um, my online store as well, but this is kind of like the only item I have like this. It's a little more covered up, um, it is long pants, joggers, and then just this little top zipper and this little drawstring um, right here. So this is super comfy and I feel like pretty much anyone can wear this. So I'm looking to get some more like universal items. And then when I do get that, that's when I'm going to start running more ads. So, ooh excuse me so that's when i'm gonna start running more ads um after i get some more inventory in so yeah but i just wanted to mention that to you guys that i have spent a lot of money on ads and i feel like ads have not been that great for me i'm not saying that the conversion rate for me can't improve but it may be my inventory it may not be i don't know so we'll have to just see as time goes on currently ads are not working that well for me but I will be very interested to see after I expand what type of inventory that I have like over the next few months if um, the conversion rate improves for me. So fingers crossed that it does. Okay. So um, and then the last thing I want to mention is inventory since that's kind of what we were just talking about. So with inventory, what I did when I was purchasing my first, oh, I'm, I'm missing two nails. I don't know if I mentioned this to you guys. I'm missing two nails, okay? Getting them done in like two days. So just bear with me, okay? <laughs> so, um, so yeah, when I was purchasing my first round of inventory, I bought three smalls, two mediums, and two larges. So I bought three smalls because I am a small. Um, so I am my own model currently. So everything that I bought, I needed to have one for me so that I can actually model it. So three smalls, two mediums, two larges. That leaves two of each size to sell. I would say if you are just starting out to only buy one of each item, like buy two of whatever size you wear. So I would say if I could go back in time, what I would have done is purchase two smalls, one medium and one large. Um, and I feel like that's enough. Unless you have some type of social media following, whether that's Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Now I have a YouTube following, but I don't have 130,000, I have 13,000. So that's a big difference. Um, so if you have a small following or no following at all, I would say do not buy that much inventory because you don't wanna be left with the stuff and if you don't want to be left with it, you're going to have to put it on sale and you don't want to do that either. So um, most companies do have some type of like end of summer sale or whatever. But in the end, I will probably end up holding on to a lot of my inventory because I will be having a sale probably at some point. But I'm not going to mark the prices down so low that I'm just like giving the stuff away. You don't want to do that either because then you're losing money. And that's you don't want to do that. It's very important not to do, especially if you're just starting out. Um, you want to break even at minimum. So I would say just just try to avoid that altogether by only purchasing a minimum amount of items. Now, you can always restock the items if, you know, someone keeps or someone or like multiple people keep commenting under the post being like, hey, like, are you going to get this back in stock? Or, oh my gosh, I can't believe you're sold out already. Or, I wanted this, you know, you can always restock the item, but what you can't do is send the item back to the manufacturer or to the wholesaler once you already have it in your possession. So 
yeah um that is what i will say um as far as just like mistakes or whatever um or kind of like what i wish i would have done or what i wish i would have known um when i first started so yeah um by the time you guys see this my business will have been up and running for a little over a month so my next video is going to be a one month update i'll be updating you guys on the number of orders that i've received and oh number of orders that I've received and um anything else that I want to mention to you guys so that's pretty much it for this video like always if you guys have any questions comments concerns leave everything in the comment section down below don't forget to follow me on all my social medias and go ahead and check out my website sis I will leave that in the description box below give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to go ahead and subscribe okay I will see you guys in my next video bye